Welcome to 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra and I'm broadcasting live from Frankfurt, Germany. Um, today's topic is how to stay humble and what does it mean to be humble? Um, what we're going to do is first uh, we're going to do a meditation. Um, I would like you to just gently bring your attention towards yourself, bring your attention towards the source of who you are, um, very effortlessly, very easy. Bring your attention inwards, dive inside yourself and Visualize that you have grown roots and your roots go deep inside the planet Earth. And as you're breathing, as you're inhaling, you can see that there's light. We can say green light or white light, whatever light that you can, it works for you. See, close your eyes and breathe. See your roots deep in the planet. You're completely rooted and the base, your base doesn't move. You do not move. There's no movement. You're very deeply rooted in the planet. So only the top part of you, only your branches can move but the, your base doesn't move. So you're very still. And as you're breathing, you're inhaling, and you can see this green healing energy, this light is entering into your body from the tip of your toes. It's sto slowly it's moving up. And, and this green light is kind of moving up very gently, connecting all of your chakras with one another. One after the other, your chakras getting connected. But the energy is moving in a form of a spiral. So breathe in, breathe out, and you see this energy moving up, it's moving up, moving up. And as it's connecting your chakras together, it reaches your third eye and then it moves through the third eye to your crown chakra. And it's shooting out from your crown chakra to the space. So go ahead and take a deep breath. And feel the connection of the, the earth below to the heaven above. It's a matter of speaking. And that your conduit in between the earth and the sky, the space, and the light is flowing through your body very effortlessly and it's carrying information in a, in a form of light. This light penetrating into your body, it's carrying wisdom and it's changing your body and your energetic body 
in the cellular memory, bringing wisdom, bringing light, bringing information. and transforming you. You are still, you're quiet, your attention is on your inner channel that the light is traveling through you're empty you're a conduit you're only a vessel you have no agenda and no purpose you're simply like a brush like a pen in the hand of god her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, using you as a tool as a brush and does its work. You have nothing to say in this transaction. You're simply here being used by God being used by the Supreme Spirit, being used by love. You're only an instrument, nothing else. You don't have an opinion, you don't have a say. Whatever God wants to do, God will do with you. You're in very good hands. You're safe, protected, taken care of, and being put to good use. As you're breathing in and out, gradually you begin to lose all of your senses of the boundaries of your body. Your body is disintegrating. It's dissolving into the air. You're slowly losing any sense of your limitation of the body, but you're still here. You are here, expanded, connected, but not limited to a form. You have become formless.
yet present, yet here. The light has taken over has taken over your body and is taking over your mind. You're beginning to lose any kind of identification with your mind as well. You can see it, but you can clearly see that you're not your mind. as if somebody else is thinking, but it's not you. You're here, you are completely expanded, but you have no boundaries. Your consciousness is present, but does not belong to a specific form. This green light, this powerful prana energy, it's spiraling through your body, has taken over. And it has expanded beyond your physical limitations. It's intoxicating 
It's warm, hypnotic, quiet, full of love, peaceful. Slowly, slowly come back. Slowly, slowly come back. And bring your consciousness back into your physical body and your current state of presence. Take a deep breath. Okay, so as you can see, when we simply quiet ourselves, we take a few moments and we dive within without an agenda, not trying to get anywhere or prove anything simply being here practicing our natural state getting familiar again with the truth of who we are which is simply presence it's present and it's here you're here you're present you're aware and you're very still You just still. You're not moving around. And then what happens is the field, the energy field, the unified field, the oneness begins to reveal itself to you and draws you in. And you start to feel dissolve into it and you begin to feel and experience and see that you're completely connected to the field of the oneness. Your mind becomes quiet and still and somehow your body starts to disappear and you're sort of suspended in the air. And it's very effortless. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Simply shifting your attention to yourself. And being accepting what is in this moment and diving into it and not trying to prove anything or do anything or accomplish anything. It's different than our teachings and trainings in life because even in spirituality, we're trying to accomplish something, trying to prove something. And what happens, we miss 
the very essence of the spiritual goal to arrive at the natural state to come to the presence to come to this place of simply being which is effortless and there's no suffering you don't suffer in here there is no room for suffering maybe your body is in pain but there is no mental or emotional suffering because the moment is fresh and it refreshes itself existence has a way of in a mysterious way it has a way of keep reflecting back to you that the more you are in, in this place of acceptance of accepting what is the more you let go of this illusory sense of control the more gratitude comes in your life and the more humble you become you become grateful for everything that you have all the gifts that the existence is giving you and you begin to see that and appreciate it and humility comes you become humble because you also see that life can be very harsh and very difficult as it is for a lot of people because they simply don't have the connection to the divine self they don't have the communication they don't communicate regularly so then therefore it's the ego comes there is the sense of me look at me look at me i am really big and bad and i have a lot of money and i can control people i have a lot of employees i have land and homes and this and that and i can force my will on other people and i can force my will on life existence so there is this total sense of separation and total sense that i am the author of my own life i'm the one who calls the shots but as you get closer as you begin to communicate as you begin to develop the language of heart and start to sense and feel that there is a greater power there is the intelligence there is god there is that there's something that is bigger than you especially when you come to these moments in your life that you're desperate when you come to these moments in life that you're completely helpless whether it's a physical issue that you've been sick for a long time or you've developed some life threatening health issue and then you get humbled you start praying you start asking the higher force to help you and somehow to this event if you're lucky humility starts to come humbleness starts to come because you know there's something bigger than you or you are in a life a uh, challenge with financial issues financially you're suffering something happened you were big and bad but now you lost you made bad investments or you got cheated or you got fooled or somehow you have lost your assets your money and now you're getting humble now you're starting to pay attention to the world of spirit and listening to 
your heart, following the language of the heart, and you're starting to get a feel that there is something bigger than you. And maybe it's better to pay attention because you're asking why. Why did this happen to me? Why me? So now it's getting, a, getting your attention. Your attention is going in that direction. Or we lose somebody, we lose in, it's a, it's a love that we have lost. Somebody we're, in, we're, we're romantically in love with, they've le left us, they've lost, we have lost them, or it's a loved one, something happened. Someone close to us is being diagnosed with terminally ill illness, something, or shock treatment. You get in a bad car accident, you lose your job, something happens, and maybe sometimes several different events happening one after the other, and you you keep losing, losing this, losing that. So now existence, the force, is got you, is getting your attention. And now you're paying attention. And slowly, slowly, you start to realize this flexing your muscles that, hey, look at me, look at me, I'm big and bad, and I can kick ass, and I can control my whatever is in it's in my field and I'm in control of this and I'm in control of that, you start to lose control and not be able to pull it together. And starting to just get a feel like, wait a minute, I used to be able to be in control of things and call the shots. I was the Mr. Bat, Mr. Big Shot, but now I'm getting my butt kicked. Big time. And what's going on? What's happening here? So you begin to pay attention to this communication. And of course, in your early stages, before you become and get, get to the, come to the path, you may go through this place that feeling like a victim. And you're a victim, you've been cheated, you've been screwed by life, by existence, by people. But then, slowly, slowly, you begin to see that this is coming from grace, and grace is actually shining her love on you by humbling you, going through a humbling experience, maybe one after the other. I mean, we all have maybe experience being on the top, and falling off the grace, falling from the top to the bottom. And you got your company, you have your employees, you're making a lot of money, you're traveling all the time, you're going to great parties, spending money, doing this, doing that, and then you begin to lose everything, and now you're at the bottom of the ladder, and you, begin to respect life, respect the force, and uh, be humble. And some of us have gone through these periods, have gone through these different stages in life, and recognize the communication with the divine self, recognizing that you're continuously all the time in communication with your higher self, with Her Majesty, with life, existence, the entire existence con continuously is talking to you. Always, through people, through birds, through events, through nature, through children. Continuously, there is communication in between you and life because you're not separated from it. Always, the more your third eye opens, the more your heart opens to love, the more you begin to see 
that there is a complete communication going on here all the time. And you begin to see the magic and the miracle of life. You begin to see that what a miracle it is that you're alive and you're here and how blessed we are that we don't have, we don't run into disasters. Disasters don't happen in your life. It may happen to other people. You hear stories from other people, but it doesn't happen to you. And you become more humble. You start to see it. You start, you stop complaining that why I don't have this or why I don't have that. You begin to appreciate what you have really appreciating it, starting with appreciating your health. Anybody who's been healthy and has lost their health and suffered, they know that how, what a blessing it is to be healthy. What a blessing it is to be physically healthy and emotionally healthy. And of course, most of us don't appreciate it till we lose it. And hopefully we're able to gain it again, get it back. But, and the rest of the things. What a blessing it is that I can pick up the phone and call my mother and talk to her, hear her voice. What a blessing it is that I have friends. I can go to a coffee shop with my friends or go get together with them one night a week and play cards or go to a party, cook dinner together, having friends. A lot of people don't have friends. They don't have close people. Many, many lonely people on the planet. Very lonely, very isolated, very disconnected, suffering. And you look around and you see that, wow, I have my friends, I have my family, and you're humble, you have gratitude. You're thankful for having that. You're thankful for being healthy. You're thankful that you have a way for creating income. You can make money. And you don't have to go beg around or be homeless, or constantly trying to function from this survival place to pay your next rent. So you're grateful, you're very humble to life to put you in a situation that you can take care of yourself, whether you're working or you're not, or you're wealthy, whatever situation being grateful that we have intelligence you can use your mind your working mind to use the computer to buy something on online to reserve a ticket to to travel to go to places That's a very good place in your spiritual growth when you come to being humble. You start to see the presence, her majesty, all over you and all the gifts that you, you have received. Looking at every gift that you have received and being really grateful for it. From very little things, from very, very simple things, you're simply grateful. You're not fearful. You're not operating from a fear that you may lose it, or maybe existence is going to turn around and punish you. It's not that. You are grateful for everything you have. That's huge. 
And the more you become grateful, the less you complain. The more you're grateful, the more existence showers you with blessings. The more you're humble and grateful and you accept what is, life takes care, you see that how life takes care of you, provides for you. Because life is responsible to provide for you. Existence is responsible to take care of you. You're its child. It has brought you into this life and it will carry you till the end, till the next phase, wherever you gotta go. So you don't need to worry. You don't need to complain. It's all taken care of. When you start to see it that way and you're grateful, then it just keeps rolling in. Pieces fall into places and you see how connected it is. You see how perfect it is. You see the magic of life. And gratitude comes. And slowly, slowly, if you're lucky, you go to the next stage through grace. You're, and you start to see that everybody is an aspect of yourself. Everyone is a reflection of yourself you begin to see even the most evil people, the most dark, darkest people, you begin to see their aspects of your dark mind, aspects of your darkness, yourself, not separated from you, but a part of yourself, not them and you, and the, the light, people who are in light, saints, teachers, advanced spiritual beings, you begin to see that they're also a part of you. They're a reflection of yourself. You are looking at yourself in a very high state of consciousness and you are looking at yourself at a very low state of consciousness. And you see both parts as yourself. And you're humble. You're humble for being where you're at. being where you're at. You can be in a lower place. You could be disadvantaged. You could be dismembered. You could be in a horrible situation as some people go into. And I'm not promoting fear. I'm talking about acceptance and appreciating, accepting what is, appreciating what we have, and that's a very good thing to have the desire to improve it and working to make yourself better. That's wonderful. I'm not saying that you're not trying to improve yourself by accepting of what is, but you accept what is and you're humble. You don't show off. And you can see when you do that, you can see people who are trying to say, look at me, look at me. I am this and I am that and I do this and I do that. And they're showing themselves. There's a lot of me, me, me. And you can normally see they're not very good. They're not very attractive. They may be very attractive physically, 
but they become very ugly very quickly because you just can't, you don't stand them. There's a lot of ego, a lot of look at me, a lot of me, me, me. And that makes them ugly. And then you may see some people who are physically, they're not very attractive, but they're, you find this sweetness and, and you find them being very humble and you find yourself very attracted to them. You want to be with them. You want to hang out with them, play with them, laugh with them. But physically, they're not attractive looking. Maybe they're not rich. Maybe they're not good looking. Maybe they have no benefits for you. But somehow, you feel like being with them. Because their inside is shining. Their beautiful inside. They're humble, they're grateful, they have gratitude. So make, it, make this a practice, your daily practice of gratefulness being grateful and bow in in you don't have to physically do it but you do it to life you do it to situations to the gifts existence give you and it could be just a very simple gift it could be something very little very little something has happened and you're grateful thank you thank you for giving me this thank you for giving me this very sunny day and beautiful warm day. Thank you for this friend of mine shows up and calls me today and wants to see me, wants to hear my voice. You know, you're just like grateful to life. Small little things, you start with that. And then you start to see you begin to see the magic in everything. And your body starts to heal. Your heart starts to heal. Because you become simple. You're humble. You don't take life for granted. Things can change at any moment for anybody. Today you're really up here and tomorrow you could be in the bottom. In, in a moment, in a second, your life can completely change for worse, for better. You're driving your car, you're fooling around with your cell phone, one moment you lose your cell phone, it falls down and you bend over to pick it up and you run into a pedestrian and you kill the person. Or a bike rider pulls in front of you, a kid jumps in front of you and you run into them and you kill him. And now your life completely changes from one moment to another. Your life is a nightmare. You just killed somebody because you weren't present. You were fooling around with your phone. And now you have to deal with legal person, legal issues, you have to deal with the guilt that you killed someone and the pain you have inflicted upon the family of the child that they have to go through the pain and your life is completely changed. All of your dreams are shattered. The course of life you were going to, you were going to move to Spain and to start this thing with your new partner and you had everything figured out. Now you have to go and spend 10 years in jail. Anything can happen at any moment in your life. You can't take any of it for granted. 
you can be become ignorant. You can't go into this place of me, me, me. I am really in control of everything. Bullshit. You're not in control of anything. God is the only one who's in control of everything. Spirit, life. You have this great strong body today and all of a sudden the next day you wake up and your body's falling apart. You're diagnosed with level four cancer. They give you three months to live and your life comes. Your life becomes miserable. Again, I'm not promoting fear. Don't take me wrong. I'm just saying not to take things for granted. Remain in this place of being grateful. Remaining in this place of being humble. For everything you have. And not be so focused on things we don't have not going into this place of jealousy, being jealous. Why my sister has more? Why my dad gave her more and didn't give me enough? Why is my best friend so successful in love and I'm not? Why other people blah, 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 or getting into the gossip, gossiping about this, that, this person did this, this person did that, blah, 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 blah. He didn't look at me, he didn't pay attention to me, but he was paying attention to this other person, blah, 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 blah. All of these things. All it does is take you away from the beautiful self that you are. All it does, it darkens you. All it does is activates your mind and takes you away from your heart. All it does, it takes you away from this moment. Because this moment is so full, it's so rich. This moment, no matter how boring it seems to be, I don't care if you've been doing the same thing a million times every day, you're doing the same routine. It's never the same. It's always fresh. If you realize that, if you look at it from that angle, it's never the same. It's always fresh. It's very, very rich. This moment in life, it's full, full. And it's yours, it's been granted to you, it's been given to you with millions of other gifts. Be grateful, be humble, receive it, enjoy it, and don't be attached to it. It's here today and maybe gone tomorrow, but enjoy it today. Receive it today, accept it today. Keep your heart open. Keep your heart open to love. Keep your heart open to light. Keep your heart open to the wisdom that comes to you. Look at the miracle of life. Look how everything is taken care of, how everything takes care of itself, how the planets traveling and turning around themselves, turning around the planet sun, how the day turns to night, night turns to day, how the seasons change, how your body is functioning, your heart's working, your brain's working, your digestive, digestive tract is working, and you don't do anything about it. Everything is taken care of for you, for me. A lot of magic. 
a miracle. And with a lot of love in it to take care of you so nothing bad happens to you. And the joy that you see your child, you're holding your child in your arms, even though if it's every day and it's mundane, the joy of seeing your parents, holding your parents in your arms, your friends, your pet, you're holding your dog, your cat, your ability to be able to love, to feel that, the love you get from them, the love you give to them. So many people don't have it. So many people around the world, they don't have the opportunities that we have. We have so much to be grateful for. We have everything we need, everything. Nothing's missing. Your mind will go here and there and says, I'm missing this, I'm missing that. The mind, but in this moment, we're not missing anything. How can you miss anything when you discover God inside yourself? You discover presence. Her Majesty is here within you, surrounding you, showering you, and you're open and you're receiving, you're humble, and it's just coming, it's just pouring. The light is pouring, the love is pouring to a point that you want to cry. Tears starts coming out. Thank you, my Facebook friends. I appreciate the love you're sending me. I see you. I'm sorry I don't communicate through that device because it's too much, but I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we have any questions. Okay, I can see you but not hear you. I'm sorry, uh, Britt, um, if that's happening. Normally you want to log out and log back in. Um, there's some one wrote to me from Cecil in I think Norwegian or Swedish I'm not sure all right here's one question coming Where is what happened oh I guess gratefulness doesn't have any questions I guess gratefulness doesn't have any questions yes <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you may want to get into a practice of every once in a while doing a diagnostic check with yourself. And go through your checklist of everything you have, all the love you get from your family, your friends, Go through everything and that will bring humility. That will bring gratefulness. And pay attention not to fall into this game of the mind. This game of the mind is me, 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 me. I am this, I am that, I am great. I am blah, blah, blah. I'm a great healer. I'm, I'm a shaman. I am a 
great businesswoman. I am better than other people. I am white. I am black. I am blah, blah. And paying attention that you don't fall into that trap. And while you're running your diagnostic check of checking, looking at everything you have, starting with your health, starting with your family, your connections. And then you just, the list is long. It's a long list. You see you have a lot, a lot. We all have a lot to be grateful to and not being focused on what you don't have. Yet you work towards improving your life and getting everything you want, but you're very happy with what you have and where you're at. You're grateful. It's very easy. It's very simple. You pay attention to that and you implement that in your everyday, whenever you remember, whenever you're cooking and your mind's going somewhere and you're pointing finger at someone else has more than you do and life is not making a mistake and you shouldn't be where you're at, you should be somewhere else and life sucks, you didn't get your potatoes. If you remember, then you come back and you count everything you have and you come back into this place and you realize you see it for yourself that you have a lot. We have a lot to be grateful of. And your life transforms, really transforms. The magic comes. Oh, it comes. Oh, it starts pouring in. Oh, you're going to see all kinds of miracles happening in your life. Left and right. As it's happening right now, as it is right now. Look, we have found each other. We connect with one another through the miracle of internet and computers and, and webinars. And get to give and receive this love that's binding us and connecting us with one another. And it's free. You don't have to spend any money to love and to, <laughs> to give love. <laughs> and the more you give, the more you receive. It's like free air. You can breathe it. The more you give your love, the more you're available to it, the more existence gives you back. It's amazing. I'm very grateful to have you in my life. I'm very grateful that Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, changed the course of my life and brought me to this point that I can connect with all you beautiful people, going to six, seven different countries and being received, receiving so much love and gratitude and kindness. Um, I can only just say thank you and bow for what comes to me and be grateful for it. It's amazing, really amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to end our academy. It's very nice to be at your presence. Thank you for showing up in my life. I'm uh, heading to uh, Hamar, Norway tomorrow, and uh, we're having a shamanic, transformational shamanic healing circle tomorrow evening in Hamar. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And followed by 5D quantum awareness 
a direct experience workshop which starts on Friday afternoon, Saturday and Sunday. I'm available for private sessions wh while I'm in Hamar. And then um, on uh, November 6, I go to, to Sweden. I go to Stockholm. So um, you're welcome to check out my website, zaratustra.tv, uh, for detailed information of my whereabouts. I'll be in Stockholm for a few days, then I go to Gothenburg, and then I go back to Stockholm. So I'm looking forward to seeing all of my brothers, sisters in all these different three cities. Um, we're also having still a few spots available for my Sedona, um, the Sedona shamanic activation, which starts in the beginning, the first week of January. So if you feel compelled, if you're being pulled to Sedona, which is my home for a powerful activation, uh, feel free to reach out. Contact me or contact Anneli, um, contact Amir at my home office, and we'll be happy to get your information, whatever info you need, and answer your questions. Namaste. Thank you. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Why you don't do this? Why you don't quit your cigarettes? Why you're still not going for a walk? Why you're not vegetarian? Why you don't meditate enough? Don't beat yourself up. You're doing a good job. Be kind to yourself. Be loving to yourself and accept love and kindness that comes to you. Receive it. Most of us have a hard time to receive. So just be gentle with yourself. You're on the right path. If you're hearing my words, you're on the right path. And all is well. Your, your spirit guide, your inner self, your higher self is guiding you in the right direction. You don't need to beat yourself up. Just be kind to yourself. Sending you lots of love and light. Many blessings. Namaste.